I remember being in uni. It was a sunny day. There was not a lot of students in class. And I received a message from a friend of mine. She asked me for my phone number. So I gave her my phone number and waited. And I waited. And it must have been like the longest 15 minutes of my life. The first thing I just heard her say was, Angie, I'm sorry. I think I just lived into each day. It was more like I didn't have any other choice. I can't even think of a day where I wasn't just out of it. Just floating along. <laughs> it took me a long time to, to pick up the pieces and regain strength and nurture my mental health because it was like oh she has been struggling with this and I always thought she was really strong but she couldn't make it so how am I supposed to <laughs> and it took me a really long time to get over that <laughs> And to realise that I do have that strength. And I do have that strength. <laughs> I really do. I spent almost two years not being sure whether it was suicide or not. And I think that's one of the like one of the things that fucked me up the most. 